So today I am filming an empties video for you. I have been collecting things for the past few months, kind of. Um, for a while I forgot and I would just like throw stuff out. So it's not everything that I've gone through, but it is kind of a lot. So basically what I'm doing today is I am going to show you all the things that I've used up. I'll tell you a little bit about each of them and if I liked them or if I didn't like them and if I think it's worth the purchase. And I'll have a little bit of tiny reviews here and there to show you what I think is good and worth the purchase and what I would say isn't really so good in my personal opinion. If you want to see what I have used up in the past few months and take a little peek into my beauty trash, then just keep watching. So, the first few things are these uh, cleansing wipes. And I have three bags of them. So obviously you can tell that I like these. These are the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. And these say tough on makeup, gentle on skin, um, no harsh chemicals, no artificial perfumes or dyes. And these are the 25 packs. These are always wipes that I end up coming back to, obviously. They do have little like ridges on them, um, like little bubble type ridges on the wipes. If you don't use them, then it's hard to explain, but they're kind of nice because it's enough to kind of like get your makeup off enough to go wash your face where you don't really have a lot left over. Um, but it's not so harsh on your skin that it irritates it and really makes it red and irritated and like burning, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really like these. Definitely a go-to, a staple. I did want to talk about the Saint Tropez self-tanning mousse really quick. A while ago, if you've watched my channel or you've watched any of my videos, you probably have seen either an empties or a favorites video talking about the Saint Tropez mousse. And it used to be one of my favorite tanners, my favorite self tanner, because it's easy and I can use it over and over. Um, but unfortunately, the last two bottles that I have had experiences with have been really bad. This one that I used up, the color payoff was just not there. Um, it, on my legs, it looks like it doesn't go on at all. So yeah, unfortunately this is now um, a miss for me. I will not be repurchasing from Saint Tropez. So if you have seen my before videos talking about empties or favorites, you'll know this little beauty right here. This is the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream in the scent Pomegranate Raspberry. I am obsessed. Oh my god, I've gone through like eight of these and I have another one in my shower. I love it. It's so creamy, so smooth, and it doesn't dry out my skin. It's just really hydrating. I get an amazing shave. It smells so good. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. If you're looking for a new shave cream, this is the way to go. I love it. Face mask because I only have a couple of those in here. Um, the first one is the Shea Moisture Kukui Nut and Grape Seed Oil Youth Infusing Mud Mask with Olive Leaf Extract and Avocado Oil for aging skin. So that's what this looks like. Cruelty free. Family owned and operated, certified organic, natural, and fair trade ingredients. Oh, this is really good. I really like this. I actually have another one in my drawer already. This little guy is like less than $3 at Target, and I got three uses out of it. It's This one in particular is kind of like a creamy, off-white mask, and you just put it all over your skin, let it sit for 10 minutes. It says 5 to 10. So I leave it on for 10 minutes and then just wipe it off and then move on to my next mask. But this is really good. It's really hydrating. It doesn't dry out my skin. It feels good. And it smells really good. It kind of smells like berries. Their Brightening Recovery Mask. It is 100% naturally fermented coconut gel and it says delivers 10 times more hydration. Treats dull skin, uneven skin tone and blemishes. Effectiveness helps the skin regain luminosity and glow while evening out skin tone. So I really liked this. This was super hydrating. If you have really dry skin, this is like amazing. I know it says brightening, but this was amazing. It has to be the coconut gel. So basically how it works is like a sheet mask and you peel off like one 
side of the mask and you put it onto your face and you like fit it in, you know, in all the areas. And then you peel off like the front piece of it and then you're just left with this like really cooling but like wet um, sheet mask and you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. So it's cooling. I've noticed that. I just used another one um, a few days ago and it's very cooling. It's very soothing, but it is also very, very hydrating. So if you do have dry skin, go check these out. I think they're like seven or eight dollars at Ulta. I did use up these Kiehl's um, little like travel size duo things. But these are the Kiehl's Damage Repairing and Rehydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. They made my hair feel amazing and these are only 2.5 fluid ounces um, and the fact that I noticed a difference in such a small little bottle is like amazing. So like I said, I'm definitely going to be buying the bigger bottles, but I did really like these. The last two hair products I have are two of my favorites. I'm so sad I ran out of these. The first one is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Potion Plus Keratin. Um, I love It's a 10 products. The one with keratin is my favorite. This is 3.4 fluid ounces. So what I would do is I would mix this with my Living Proof Split End Remedy product and I would mix it together in my hands and then just rub it basically from like here down and I noticed a difference. It was so hydrated, it was so soft, it was so silky smooth and shiny and it was so easy to brush my hair after putting it um, in there too. Because my hair is blonde, sometimes it can be kind of hard and I feel like it knots really easily after the shower. But with this, it was so, so, so easy to brush out. The last hair product that I have is the Batiste Dry Shampoo and this is in the Coconut and Exotic Tropical um, scent. This is the full size. This is the 6.73 ounces. It's so good and it's so affordable. I think it's like 7 or $8 at Ulta. If you have a good dry shampoo, um, let me know what you use because I feel like it's really hard for me to find a good dry shampoo that does what it's supposed to without making my hair either more oily or like too textured. Oh, I have some skin, some more skincare. Shoot, I forgot. Okay, only three things and then makeup, I promise. So these, these are the three things. They're all like little like travel sizes. Um, sample sizes, whatever. So the first one is the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. And this was so good. I loved it. This lathers really well. It's super bubbly and amazing and I love it. And this is the sample size of the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliator. Um, I did not think I was going to like this because my skin is really sensitive and I heard that it's like kind of, it kind of tingles a little bit. Man, that smells good. It kind of smells like cloves, allspice, cinnamony. It reminds me of like Thanksgiving and fall. So already it's my favorite. Um, but this was so good. It's like a greenish color. It's a little grainy, but it's not like intrusive on your skin. It doesn't really irritate my skin. And I have really, really sensitive skin. So um, I thought for sure it was going to irritate my skin. I thought it was going to um, make me break out or make me really red or, you know, really bother my skin and it didn't. And for that reason, I love it. It's kind of pricey. Um, I think it's absolutely worth it, but I just, I want to try out some others first and see if there's something that I like more or if I do end up liking this one the best, um, then I'll buy it. And the last skincare item is the Renewed Hope in a Jar from Philosophy. This is the, just their regular moisturizer. This is just their small little sample size. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. It's really good. doesn't really smell very strong. It's really lightweight, but it's hydrating. So if you're looking for a good moisturizer, that's definitely a good one to check out. Now I'm going to finish off with makeup. I don't have a whole lot. It's just a few little like regular sized and like little small sample sizes of things. I was trying to use up all of like my little my little products. So this is what I have used up. So I used up one of the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Carbon Black Mascaras. It's similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. 
Um, it's only about seven or eight dollars though, so if you want something that's very similar, very voluminizing and full, makes your lashes really full, this is a great version. I've gone through like four of these. And then I also went through the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. This is probably like a little, this is actually what I'm wearing right now. I have a new one. It's a good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. Um, it's very similar. A little twist up product on one end and then the spoolie on the other, which is amazing. Because then you can just go boom, boom, boom and be like good to go with your brows. So this is good. I think it's like 10 9 or $10 at Target. I also went through the Too Faced Perfect Black Perfect Cat Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. Um, I didn't go all the way through it. I mean, as you can see, I still have some, but it just basically dried out, and so I couldn't really use it, but I've had it for a while, and so that's, like, my fault that it dried out. But it was really good. It's very creamy and very pigmented. It's an amazing black, and it's awesome. Then I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow, Eyeshadow Primer. It's in the little like blue tube. And then I also used the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. So this wasn't bad. I obviously didn't have enough to use a whole lot of it where I'm like, oh my god, I'm obsessed and I need to go buy the full size like right the second. So I can't tell you if I really liked it a lot. I know there's a lot of people who really like it and there's a lot of people who probably won't like it because it is silicone free. But it wasn't bad. It was hydrating. It was really lightweight. It felt almost more like a moisturizer versus like a primer. So... I don't know, but I used that up. And then the last two things I used up, this is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Well Brightening Makeup Foundation. This is the lightest one, I think. Yeah, this is um, called I'm Pure For Sure, and it's in the shade, it's like ivory. So I really liked this. I really loved this foundation when I was pregnant because my skin was really oily. And because this is oil-free, it worked amazing with my skin when I was pregnant, so. The last thing in my bag is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector. And this is in the shade Ivory as well. Um, so I used up the whole little tube of this. I really liked this. It was really lightweight. It covered enough for me. I don't have insanely dark circles under my eyes, but um, I do have some darkness. I have a two-year-old, so of course... There's times when I just don't sleep. Um, but this was really good at covering that up. And for also highlighting, if you get a, like a lighter shade down from what you would conceal with, it's great for um, highlighting too. That was the last thing in my um, empties bag. So um, that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like to watch empties videos because I like to see what other people use. If they have similar skin types to me, if they have completely different skin types from me, I hope it was beneficial and that it helped you in some sort of way. If you have any recommendations of products that I should use or try out, or like I said, if you have a good dry shampoo to try, or if you've used the Loving Tan Self Tanner, um, definitely let me know in the comments because it's really hard for me to find a good shampoo that I feel like works with my hair. That's it. Like I said, I am starting fresh with my beauty trash. And I will have another empties video for you probably in the next couple of months. I'm thinking about maybe doing them every three months, so like four a year. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click the little subscribe button if you haven't already. And also next to it, you can turn on the little alerts. It's a little bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you're alerted every time I post a new video. And I am going to be posting often again and I'm so excited. So, with that being said, if you have recommendations or videos you'd like to see, definitely let me know in the comments below because I'm trying to figure out what type of videos to film, what to post, and what's really going to make my viewers happy. And I guess that's it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.